I need that booty. <laughs> no. Okay, we got two of them killed, but this will be a damage. Can I get another shield? Blue Shrek, heal me, damn it! Stop. This is illegal. Hey, what's up, guys? This is your boy Tway here. You know what it is. Another speed run, as promised, and here's where we're just going at. Main character of this one is a very simple. It's going to be the CQ. Funny enough, uh, we will be having ourselves uh, two other characters that will be joining the fray because they're free. And it makes the speed run a lot faster, which will be a reheat and a repine. Now, one of the things that I found in my previous speed run is that I cannot kill Galgoria myself, which is one of the things that I really want to do within a week. But for that to happen you need uh, two damage dealers and i think at some point lucicio might be the one that we are looking for so there's a few things that i will be aiming for uh, during the run but those characters are gonna be increased no matter what so let's just check it out here a uh, 1-3 is when you can get yourself a lot of things what are the being is all of your redemption codes so the more you have the better it is so what you do, you go to game settings, you go to others, and then you go to use coupon. Go to my Discord and check every single one that we still have. And I think at this point, these three are the only ones that still work. Won't get you much, but it will get you started. So what you then can do is you can summon a one time. Now you could be looking for any single item that you can on this current speed run. However, nine out of 10 times, I start my speed runs out whenever there is a great, and I mean a great event going along. So if we could get ourselves a weapon or something, that would be interesting. Having Sonya up there uh, seems interesting, but not all that much. Having Elias up there, um, yeah. They both don't mean a lot to this account, but hey, it's something that you can take. The central overall once again and do the episode on reheat and repeat it straight away to get these two characters up and make sure that we get a pretty decent head start. Do take note, however, when you might be playing, uh, this might not be around, but do make sure to check every single one of these things out. Completed that small feature, you go all the way up here. What you do here is something very obnoxious and it does take a little bit of time, but this is part of the re-rolling process. You go over here and you play every single one of these. The reason why is because of these items. So when you're done with that part, you go to inventory, you go to craft, and if you have any gold, because that differs from time to time, you make all of these, open them up, and then you can get yourself your first unique treasures. Now you might think, why the hell do I need these things? Uh, because it will make your character stronger. Chances are you will not get anything that you want. Which usually happens. So we got to check. We got double Lucius. What the? What is this? Yuria, Crow, Zara, Frey. Frey is always good, but I'd rather have the UT2. But having Frey up there will allow us to do a little bit better. It's not bad, but it's definitely not great either. Because you want to have these things onto your main damage dealer. So what you can then do, you can grind any of these things accordingly. But for now, we're just going to keep it the way it is. Because the early game is very, very easy. And another thing that you need to look at is these beginner raider parts. Because for one, you can get a little bit of rubies. Always good. But outside of that, there's a lot of items that you can go and get with. And on the very first day, this might be actually something that you will be looking for. So, keep an eye out for these. From a first 5 star hero ticket, depending on if I go physical or magical, I 9 out of 10 times just pick Lorraine anyway because she is a very broken hero. Having her on a 5 star starts out pretty, pretty well. Haven't even unlocked this feature, but we're gonna get these as well. Let's summon it. And in. Oh, no babies, come here. Can I get a gold one? Am I asking for too much? Yeah, probably so. Uh, a bell. Ooh, Shucky. Isn't that... No, I thought for a high second that one was good. But I got no purple ones in that one either. Oh, wait, that's trash. Now, luckily, we can start out the team with Reheat, Repeat, uh, Lorraine, and Normal Frey. And now that we got one of the UTs, I'm going to put that on there. Fortunately, it's not UT2, but this would suffice. 
Once you clear chapter one, what you gotta check out is visit the Heroes Inn because this is where you can get everything started. Now, I always look for anything potentially good. Now, the Roxas is pretty decent as a tank and probably one of the sickest ones early investment for Eclipse, so he would be very good. In terms of raw boss, Audi would be really good, but Audi doesn't allow you to survive a whole lot, and I don't want to be buying a tank anywhere soon. So starting this relationship with this dude, I might be able to give me whatever I need. The only downside is the fact that we don't have any extra heroes over there is uh, quite obnoxious because now I can only do the roulette once a day. That is really sad because otherwise I could have gotten to uh, this one and I could have completed this that's very sad always add is these normal achievements because you'll get a lot along the way which means that you will get a lot of rubies accordingly as well so this is looking quite quite decent as for this two star hero ticket it's always debatable what you can pick but kaula is one of the nastiest heroes in the game when it comes to healing you will use this character for eclipse at some point but you could also think about getting yourself a demo for more single target damage or take down because his overall increase on your whole team is absolutely nasty so this dude is definitely worth taking however i'm gonna pick kaula with a two star ticket right now will i use this one during the speed run not really blue shrek is benched Alrighty, so when i hit 2-16 i got myself about a 6k ruby so this is the time where i can buy my first hero and that will definitely be uh this dude but don't click on that one because that's a step up summon don't get it twisted make sure to go to heroes let's go to lucicio buy the dude and uh look at his awesomeness so then we go with Lucigio. So first and foremost, what I do, I tend to max him out as far as possible. Now, getting him up to 74 seems pretty decent, but it's not enough. So now that I saved up a few items, what I go and I do is I'm going to break down a few things that I do not need. However, these two could be used, but I'm not going to. And lies how good she ever may be, is still not going to be enough. As for the UTs, I need at least one UT. The one that I won't be using is uh, Mirian. I will never be making her. Crow will never be made. This dude could be used for PvP in the long run, but am I going to? Uh, Yuri is out of the question. Zorak could be used. And uh, then I got 600 of these, which is obviously enough for my first UT. So, unique weapon. There you go. Craft a unique weapon. And then a unique but this will allow me to do whatever heroes owned. I go all the way down to Lucicio. Barbatos Gigante, aka this is the one with the fist. Yay. Okay. And as for the UT, the one that I should be using is probably UT3 because it does the most damage, but it could be debatable. But I think overall, with uh, Defense Ignore, this will probably allow me to just bust everything up accordingly. What I should then check is how much do I need for my first event artifact. Won't take that long and we got ourselves the first stones of infinity and a random soul stone pretty near into the future. So let's just see some damage on this dude. Open up his three. Uh, I don't Nasty cutscene. Did you see the bounciness? In chapter two, you will be able to claim this. And you will be able to get another hero of your liking. Now, something that I genuinely like is the following. You can get yourself for 3k rubies a hero ticket. And you can basically pick out a lot of heroes. One that I genuinely like is Naroxas. Because Naroxas is currently very good in low investment. Eclipse is a very good tank to get you through chapter 10. And overall gives you one of the highest survivabilities possible. Now, there's a huge debate in myself that thinks like should i really just pick the dude because mora might be way better to start up and progress with galgoria however mora i don't feel like using her anywhere else aside for maybe robots 3 girl conquest 1 and Naraxis will just allow you for way better survivability so with that i'm gonna keep it now after i spend the next amount of rubies i got a random soulstone ticket now one thing that you might forget is the little raider part if you go to the placement you can place one of these uh, little dudes over here. You can get yourself a nice amount of items. The reason why, you can maximum treat these things. So here we go. Max this out. I get bottles of stamina. Always good. 
but when you look at that you could actually get yourself unique weapons unique treasures if you are lucky however take these out once again and you do this I like this and hope that you are maximum lucky There you go, you need treasure ones, we need those. <laughs> Alright, let's get a golden one. Oh, we got Proteanus! <laughs> oh, what are the odds? I totally forgot what I was about to do. Oh, never mind, a slow weapon pull, let's go. Now, I've been looking in the past and guess something very nasty overall but chance of you getting something that you need is still abysmal but we we'll just get a dlk one on an account where we are not going to use this however this would have been absolutely ridiculous if this was part of the speed run holy balls now, after you get yourself 5k rubies you got two options in this current run when you go to special shop you have the summon and you can go either for the 2.5k pool or the 5k pool now this 2.5k pool is one of the most broken things in the game and this will allow you to get as far as possible if you are lucky or if the event will give you more rubies than you're currently already getting. Because once you get over here you can pick yourself the characters that you want from a single item piece. So you can just say oh we're gonna click this complete the selection and when you get a unique weapon or a unique treasure you will be able to get one out of these four characters. However if you are not willing to reroll what you can then also do is go for this lucicule step up reason why you can get about 50k uh, rubies from the get-go you will be able to get yourself a little bit of wizard fragments and you will be able to get yourself at least a unique weapon or unique treasure of your liking so that is pretty good however do take a look at my video on these step up banners because the actual rate of you getting anything on here is pretty low so for now we're not going to do this but this is something that you might want to consider because at the end of the day you can always pick these up so to give this a shot we're going to do this since Rapina is one of the characters that i will end up using for galgoria because she has a monstrous amount of damage this is quite neat lorraine on itself is a very good pvp character and definitely worth the investment if you go for eclipse so that is pretty nasty, but if I get Naroxas' unique weapon or a unique treasure that I like, I would actually go for this. But now that I think about it, a Clash unique weapon would be enough. So instead, I would rather go for Fallen Frey instead because she is one of the most broken healers in the game. So with this being said, let's complete the selection and give this a shot. Okay, can I get something? And this would be the time where I would actually reroll. That's Lorraine 1, and that was nice. Clash unique weapon, and absolutely nothing. So unfortunately, these rolls were trash, and this might be a time to consider re-rolling once again. Another suggestion would be, if you clear this one on the beginning unique weapon ticket, you could do one or two things. You can actually get yourself a unique weapon that is Lorraine's or you can go for normal Freya's. The funny thing about normal Freya is extra healing and a crit chance increase of 300 which will ultimately give you a pretty neat gimmick for the rest of your characters. So I'm going for this at all times. This also allows you to equip a lot of mana per attack which then will allow you to spam more of your skills which ultimately works really really well. And then when it comes to survivability, having a unique ticket treasure for uh, Naroxis, that might be pretty good too. Because this thing increases every defense of the character and it dispels positive effects. This skill is absolutely ridiculous. Now, just a Clash Unique weapon for Naroxis would be more than enough, but that one might be something to consider as well to get his unique weapon to where it needs to be. Alrighty, another thing I got, forgot to mention is make sure to get these Welcome Back event books because this will get you a random unique weapon and you could get something good. Outside of that, uh, somebody said to me, yo, this 500 skill book might actually be good for your main damage dealer, so I might actually get this one. This way you will be able to maximize all of your skills accordingly, so if we just do this... You will then be able to maximize all of this. 
which will ultimately increase the damage, increase everything that he does. And most of all, increase the shield, so upgrade his survivability, especially for the long runs. So for just 500 rubies, this might be worth it for a beginner. So in terms of upgrading, I think this gave me actually something that I really, really wanted. So the question would be, how much damage did I actually increase? One thing for sure, I already increased a lot of mana gain, so I can open up as one and probably nearly kill everything in sight because it says nearby enemies, I don't even know what nearby means at this point because I hit something in the back that I wasn't supposed to hit over there. So then we come up at the boss, no problem, we just try and pull them in, not possible. But we still got this S3 and looking at our mana gain, this is absolutely mad. Yay, absolute damage. So at the end of the day, we're just trying to abuse this luck if there is any. So repeating Lorraine and anything, please give me something. Can, can I? This is always low range raid. Always. This needs to stop. This was exactly how the last stream was. You will get yourself a normal artifact ticket selector. And you could be thinking of getting just about whatever. Now the fantastic hybrid animals is one thing that you could definitely consider. However, what would be smarter is pick yourself up a solo stone. You need this for two pieces of content. One would be little shockman where you need that healing rate reduction. Two would be Galgoria. So picking up this thing, 30% heal rate reduction is an absolute must have. Ladies and gentlemen, this time again, we can try this uh, one more time. Uh, let's go. Let's see if we get anything. Do we, uh, I forgot to rub some nipples. I'm, I'm gonna harass you, Lua. You're nasty in the story anyway. Spoiler alert, let's go. Hand in. Disco lights, can we get a tank? That's an archer. That will be for Talisha, if anything. Okay. Oh, you need weapon. Okay. Uh, that is something that I do want. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So after this slight addition and upgrade, I really wonder how strong this dude just became. Well, with just in the first hit and not hit with everybody, we could see a lot of damage improvement. But once I do this S3, we might actually kill everything. But we're not going to do that S3 yet. Because we're just going to normally hurt these things. So... I don't know whether this stage is definitely the best to try this out, but here's what we're going to do is we're going to open up S3 and kill everything. We'll go, brah, okay, not yet. And then S1, okay, damage increased by about 50%. That is neat. So now I've come up at a certain point where I'd like to level up my characters as far as possible. So what I gotta do is clear the stockade vault, clear 10-2, Tower of Challenge, and some other stuff according to these lines and obviously how many items that you could possibly get you can get up to over here and get your characters to absolute maximum but that is something that i think everybody should focus on so before i reach chapter 7 i got another 5k of uh, ruby pulls now the chance of us getting anything uh, during this run is uh, quite abysmal and the chances would be that i'd like to get something for kersey Maybe a unique weapon, maybe a unique treasure. This will allow me to do quite well in the upcoming Galgoria raid as well because I'm using a her instead of Reheat. Yo, Kari, thanks for the Twitch Prime, my brother. Appreciate it, and thanks for the lunch me. Right, let's get it popping. I'm getting highly, and I mean highly demotivated with this run. Oh, the Care Bears. That's actually a UT for Kersey that I want because that's more support than anything. Cheer ourselves up by using this. I'm just getting highly demotivated with this one. If I fail the next unique weapon, man, I might just fucking quit this run. Like, I'm getting, I'm getting so salty. I'm getting so, so salty. This is sodium levels through the roof. Now, I know this is all a game of gotcha, right? 16. All right, 66%. Seems doable, but. In the midst of leveling, I actually got another one and uh, we're just gonna use this. Uh, we know that we're not gonna shit. Cause this is not, a, like I believe a lucky accounts. This is not one of them. Yeah, 
no, this is gonna be bad either way. I, I, like, okay, fuck it, one star on that, great. Now what? Okay, it's useful, never mind. Uh, Rapine's weapon, nice. Okay, this is the first pull that was actually decent. Mm, okay, okay, I'll take it. And it has the lifesteal that I was looking for. What? Crazy, alright. Um, um, we can still bust this up, right? Um, um, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do uh, the awakening. Like, by attacking critical damage and all the reforges that I put on it. 50% because, uh, 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 bye. Uh, this is, uh, 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 what? Why, why are these things suddenly working? It makes, okay, so we got that one out of the way as well. Uh, now I'm gonna reforge this thing into attack with one blasted thing. Uh, critical damage, whatever, we'll take it. I'm not gonna complain about this anymore. Except for if, and only if, I fill this one. Okay, now that worked. That is good for dinner. Unique weapon and the unique treasure. And if I get some ether enhancements, then uh, rearranging the stats, enhancements to level five, I can actually get another temple in. That is not bad. Without further ado, we're gonna do this first. Yep. All right, we got raccoon dog. Okay, that's a keeper. That's nice. Yay. And we got Sonya's. Wow, this is the second Sonya thing that we got today. And a good one at that. So this could have been a PvP account, if anything. Uh, we're gonna see how this damage actually is. The reason why I wanted to do this is uh, because I wanted to give him uh, a little bit more damage. Now, this is decent. However, uh, this is every six seconds. Now, these fights are not taking a long as time anyway. So. Uh, in terms of maximum progression, it would be smarter for me to get it like that. So, let's see if this is enough. So, whenever I reach this point, this is where I level up. And depending on your main damage dealer, the faster that you level. So, let's see how much we do right here. Not bad. Now we know what the deal is if we get enough rubies once again. Pulling! After the last one, I've become quite hopeful. But yeah, let's not be. Exactly for this reason. Uh, you know what the deal is once again 2.5k rubies because we keep popping these like crazy. Let's do it again Let's see how far we can get with this one last one. We didn't get anything I'm glad this isn't my main account. That's for sure All right Seven hours, 33 minutes in, and we got to Infira. Let's show what I think about Lucikio. Well, for one, he is mad broken. For two, he has a grand capabilities. The only thing that is dying right now is Minor Roxas because he isn't tanky enough. If I would T-perk him, he would definitely increase in his own HP and the rest of the HP as well. And has survivability overall. But if I just open up that S3 like that, everything will die accordingly. Now I'm yeah, using the S2 Surge because I'll use that for the last one. Because I think it is either necessary or it could allow me to survive. Now with that extra heal and a dispel, uh, the fire itself will not do me all that much harm. But uh, this still could end up poking me up. I really don't like that, however. Uh, open up S1. Yay. Hopefully the cooldown won't be that long. And funny enough, I think we will blow Infira out within three skills. Let's go and get it. Wait for a half second. Wait till all of these bitches come in. Then we open up as two, pull everybody into one big happy family. Here goes, yay, come here. And then, oh, yeah, okay, we are about to die. Why is Naraxxus dead? I don't like this. Stop, no. And we made it. 
We did. Great. Seven hours, 35 minutes. All right, for educational purposes, let's try out some damage. So let's see if we can pull all of these in. Just look at what we are faced with right now. Look at that, A stack straight up in the building. So that means that the damage that you just saw isn't even on the full defense ignore. Yes, Blue Shrek actually died because he said, Ugh, I'm low level. So here it goes once again, open up the S1, kick everybody in the dome piece, open up S3. Hey, hey, below everything ain't the kingdom fuck. Yo, this dude is absolutely crazy. There, there's no way, no way this dude does so much damage. Alright, so now that the S2 wave got into surge, what you gotta see right now is we can pull everything together. One big happy family. Okay, there's one in the back. That is, that is the leftover family member that you never get to talk to because he doesn't like anybody. Here we go once again, opening up 22 million damage per second. What the hell? Look at Lorraine. Lorraine is just being there like, okay, I'm T2, I should be doing more damage, but you don't. All right, now after T-perking, we got more rubies. Let's do this again. At this point, I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss, right? Like, we know this account ain't amounting to shit. Disco like. Give me some more of them. More disco lights. Yeah, or just reforge tickets. This 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 could be said reforge, reroll, whatever, do something. Like at this point, I should quit. I think you gotta try is put these things to the test. One of them is Lucikio on three. Can he do it? I'm not sure whether I have enough healing to uh, try and, and bust this thing up. So whatever happens right here is gonna stay. I was hoping I could stun it, but not the case. Ouch. Getting pulled up. In terms of damage, I have a feeling I could take this on, but it's not easy. I need that heal bonanza, bro. Can I pull this in? Oh, that, that's actually a way where I could change it. Nice. Gotcha, give me all that HP back. Yeah, I don't care about the rest, bro. We got it. S1. And the end. Cooking them up. I don't even have the gear to compete with this. But this is three. And he can solo this. And for academic purposes, we're gonna do this. And see whatever is going down. Chances are we will get killed. But, like I said, it's just for fun. Did I finish chapter 9 already? No, man, not nearly finished that one yet. I don't know how much damage I actually need to compete with this. I actually do well here. Alright, Naroxus is up. This is why I love Naroxus here, boys. Naroxus is godlike. Okay, as for stun bar decrease, it's not a whole lot, but it is not bad neither. That's three. Stun the hole. <laughs> if we can't get 20 right off the bat, I'll be mad surprised. But probably at like like 11, 12, or 13, we're gonna get killed. Okay, we gotta try and stun this dude once again. If we stun him, we might have enough time to kill him. Go. 
Because then I can get an extra healing too. Is this thing actually healing himself? Or is he just feeling himself? That's a lot of dead characters. But we're not dead yet. Can we do 15, ladies and gentlemen? Can I get a red orb? Answer is ow. That was fun, though. I like that. Well, now that we got that, let's try our luck again. We got nothing for Fall of Free yet. So, uh, uh, this, this might be a good time. Let's harass her a little bit. Let's stroke her leg. I guess she doesn't like that all that much. Oh, there we go, Fallen Frey stuff. What can we get? Oh, another Lucica. What? And Disco Lights. Okay, so we get a shot at a three star. What? Uh, no expectation. And in. Don't ask me how I got another one. Hey, let's go. <laughs> disco lights, all about it. More disco lights. Yeah. Am I expecting anything at this point? Not really. Okay. Um, we can do two things actually. Uh, we're gonna increase our Lucikil's damage. So, uh, three TP fives, right? Growth, Yeezys, Lucicule, all the way up there. Bye. Don't ask me why. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, 9 is 23. It is a 10 hours, 40 minutes-ish. And, uh, well, we gotta try and beat this one. Chances of us actually doing this, I wouldn't call it very high because I had such a rough time trying to do the last parts. This has literally been taking me 30 minutes to try and repeat these things every single time and it's not been fun however the chances of us actually beating this is there so are we insane for trying this with absolutely no gear no luck not whatsoever or are we just very 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 persistent at something we shouldn't be there we go that's a shield that's why i take naroxas over there because he can dispel all that stuff it is a long range, all range, whatever the hell it is. And Kersey is just dying in the back once again. This time with a shield. But at least it's not my backliners that are getting killed. So we only need to do three stages instead of four on the normal ones. And our damage is slowly depleting because Lucikil unfortunately doesn't do a whole lot if people aren't clogged together. So that makes it very nasty, very sad to try and get him anywhere further than this. The question would be, is Kersey the one character that we need over here? Or could we instead use a cane over here with the S3 perk, which allows you for 20 second uptime on extra defense, extra attack, base attack, which will allow you to do a lot of, a lot of early game damage. So that is something that I'm very much debating. Yo, that shield might just be enough. Oh, it was. That was godlike. Okay. I need go. that booty. Yo. <laughs> no. Like okay, we got two of them killed. Hopefully hit anybody be because everybody and anybody is scattered over shield. here. Blue oh, Shrek. Ew, man. They're getting damage. pounded. Stop. <laughs> I need this that booty. <laughs> no. Okay, we got two of them killed, but this will be a damage. Can I get another shield? Blue Shrek. Ew, man. Damn it. Stop. This is illegal! Okay, uh, so we're alive, uh, but now we are at the boss. And the question is, can I survive this? Because if I look at this first attempt, I'm not feeling it. Uh, we, are we gonna do this? Are we, are we gonna look at anything that is quite possible? Or possibly able or capable of doing this. I have absolutely no clue. We're just gonna stun this dude. We're gonna save up the moment he gets a shield. That would be right about in fucking now. Uh, we got the shield, but we still didn't kill it. Oh my god, is he gonna kill me? No, 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 no. Give me a stun! Right now, please! Okay, we're dead. 
that came one second too late all right so once again uh if i open up the s3 then i cannot be hitting these backliners anymore so i could do one or two things i could wait for this as two and try to stun them accordingly oh my god i just don't know what he's gonna do i'm i'm so mad scared but i gotta save up this stun yeah once again okay stun him yeah uh that is not enough i need more stun please thank you bye okay save the stun up with lorraine pair it up here goes one two three eight stun him uh, no skills coming up if this s3 is gonna hit we might have ourselves something but from the looks of it this dude decides to go mad ham on my nuts eh, i don't know what skill he's using but we got him eh, curse he's dead though again <laughs> i don't what was that you may not remember but you beat the stage with dok follow forever hard nine claws before yeah well, I do remember that one. That's for sure. This is an easy one to remember. All right, so I gotta uh, once again stun this accordingly. Okay, I, I said stun this accordingly, but uh, I'm not sure whether I do have the stunning capacity right now. Okay, once again, uh, we're just gonna stun this. I don't know what skill he's using, but uh, I'm just going to stun this. Oh boy, another skill that I don't know <laughs> what he's gonna do with it. Ouch. Okay, please don't laser me once again in my fucking face. Stop. You uppity motherfucker. No, no, no. Stop. Okay, we gotta save that S3 up. Because we know we need to stun the Kamehamehas. Uh, wait. Can we get it? I don't wanna die of this. I don't think I, I will, but I just don't want to. Nice, stunning capacity bonanza. Come here, let me talk to you. Oh, you wanna come and how many? Oh, no, that's not not the come and how many hands. No, no, no. Okay, is that the first part, or do we need to kill it even further? Apparently, game says no, no, no. We're not done yet. Gonna wait up with the S3. Line up all of the stuns. You're not gonna move. You don't get to play. Let me talk to you for a half second. Okay, I need more stuns. More stuns. They're putting into it. Sub 11 hours. It sucks. But we made it. Yo, just a second. I'm not done yet. <laughs> we'll do it. We'll do one of the last pulls. Let's go. I'm just gonna pull it. Nobody knows what's gonna happen. Me included. Let's go. Uh wait. What is this? Is it good? Pauldrons, whatever. Can I finally get a cells? A good pull in. Why did I not get this earlier? What is this disco light? Uh, what? Can I get a last thing? Then absolutely no. Okay, so the thing is still trash, honestly. But hey, can 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 I can I please can I can I can I the 33%? I guess. Of course. At the end of the run, we just get ourselves a three star. I genuinely don't know what to tell you guys. But let's look at the gear that we got at the very end. So we got Lucikiel at this point. Three star unique weapon, two star unique treasure. We got him up to TP95 and this is what I ran. Um, we got Naroxes, unique weapon, unique treasure. Uh, this is what I ran as well. And I really like the attack speed reduction. But what I could have done as well is increase the defense boost by 100%. Would that allow me to live further? I'm not quite sure. But yeah, it's pretty decent. Then we got Lorraine. Uh, this is what allows me to survive as well, and that is attack reduction per stack of five, which is 25 in total. Kersey having some attack speed, a little bit of damage that makes no sense. I could have possibly gone for the dodge raid, but I'm not quite sure whether that is possible. Um, got the UT that allows her to give more attack speed for the rest of the people, or uh, it seems like defense penetration whatsoever. Uh, pretty decent. Uh, normal fray. We actually got the UT pretty early on. Got a unique weapon uh, from the beginner ticket. Went for T3, so we get the cooldown reduction. We got Blue Shrek in the building. Got absolutely nothing. Got no gear. I've never seen the dude die, neither. But 
that's the thing. Now, one of the things that I could have changed is go for the S3 because on a change, this thing gives you a, a, a ridiculous amount of attack, ridiculous amount of defense. And if you get the UT3 plus this perk, you will have a 100% uptime on uh, that skill, which gives you so much innate attack, which allows you to do a lot of damage. Because you gotta imagine, 72k attack, this isn't even max level yet. And if you look at the base attack over here, that's over 30%. And that is even included with all of these attack lines increased. So, yeah, that is something that I would debate to uh, take Kersey out, put Kane in, uh, put more survivability in, 100% uptime onto the S3. And then allow actually to uh, Kane to pull in everybody. So then Lucikio would be able to deal more damage. That is something that I would do right now. But here's where it's at. We are 11 hours in. I am done. I don't want to look at this account anymore. This luck is busted. So yeah, I, I don't want to play this anymore. Hope you guys enjoy this one. But for now, peace.